Well, hi, babies. Good morning. How are you? Good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. This is a general message, so take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? I love you all so much, and I thank you that you're here, okay? Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Okay. Um, the song I got on shuffle here is If You Could Only See by Tonic. If you could only see the way she loves me, maybe you would understand why I feel this way about our love and what I must do. If you could only see how blue her eyes can be when she says, when she says she loved me. Well, you got your reasons, and you got your lies, and you got your manipulations. They cut me down to size. Say you love, but you don't. You give you love, but you won't. If you could only see the way she loves me, maybe you would understand why I feel this way about I love and what I must do. Hmm. Okay. Sees the road less traveled, shows happiness unraveled, and you got to take a little dirt to keep what you love. That's what you gotta do. Saying you love but you don't. You give your love but you won't. You're stretching out your arms to something that's just not there. Okay, so what I'm getting here is <laughs> watch that you aren't defending something that shouldn't be defended. <laughs> watch that you're not hanging on to something that shouldn't be held on to. When instead, um... Ooh, you're stretching your, out your arms to something that's just not there, to something, oh, sorry, to something that's just not there. Saying you love where you stand, give your heart when you can. Um, when you could, in fact, be stepping into a new venture with this leg card, stepping into a new experience. And it doesn't have to be romance. I'm getting that it's definitely not. Like, you're, you're holding on to something that doesn't need to be held on. You're defending something that definitely shouldn't be defended. You just this clinging to it. Cuz then the next song is um No Love in Oklahoma or There Ain't No Love in Oklahoma by Luke Combs. Um I keep chasing that same old devil down the same old dead end highway, riding that storm running through my veins like a shot down tailspun airplane. Scared of nothing and I'm scared to death. I can't breathe and I can't catch my breath, but I keep chasing that same old devil down the same old highway. Ain't no love in Oklahoma. Just the whistle of a lone black train. You'll know when it's coming for you, riding in on the wind and rain. Um, hmm. And, okay, so the next song, I have to just go into it because I was like, wow, very curious. Uh, the next song was um, Met the Devil in Oklahoma. So Oklahoma might be significant to you. It might just be like a, um, a confirmation. Uh, met the devil in Oklahoma. He had eyes black as night. He said he came from North Dakota. Want to take me on a ride. I asked him why he came to visit me. He said that's just what he does. Met the devil in Oklahoma and he knew who I was. I've been sitting on the riverbank praying in Je I've been sitting on the riverbank praying in Jesus' name to come and save my soul. I know time was never on my side. Uh, Met the devil in Oklahoma by Josh Melroy. Um, once again, it's a time thing. 
Um, so it's like, why are you wasting your time in this thing that isn't serving you when you know it? And um, <laughs> it's almost like it's telling me because, um, you know, you're reaching out for love that isn't there. You know, you're, um, there ain't no love in Oklahoma and, except for that, the devil. <laughs> And then met the devil in Oklahoma. So like what you're clinging on to is the enemy. What you're clinging on is to fear. Because, you know, the devil is fear. That's the only thing it's got on you. That's the only thing the enemy has on you is fear. So why are you clinging to this thing only out of fear when you're wasting your time when you could be living fully in something else? It's going to be different for everyone, but we have seek your destiny. And especially with this leg card where it's stepping into a new experience. Um, that's asking you to like take a leap of faith, a step in the new direction, you know, chase down your dreams instead of clinging on to this ball and chain of whatever it is might be a home might be a job, a person, friends, family. It could be anything. Or, you know, just some sort of thought form that you can't change your life. You can't change your personality. You can't change the character you're playing. Um, when in fact, you know, if you decide to take this leap of faith, that will completely shift your life around. You know, it's like, it's this little cat, like I'm seeing that as a spirit guide, like asking you to be like, yo, you want a like mystical ass life or what, dude? Like, come on, jump in, take that step, take that leap. And when you got focus, then act. So that's telling me like, you need to use your sword of truth to um, see how there's like that dark black horse to face your shadow of like why you're holding on to this out of fear out of what you know and tr see the truth that it, it is really holding you back it you know your life could be a lot more free you would have a less burden on you if you let this thing go and you're defending it for what you know it's not good for you and um I can't remember the book but th there's some book out there <laughs> I know it's super not helpful um but it said Anything you think you have, you feel that you have to defend can't stand on its own. You believe that it can't stand on its own. So if you feel that you have to defend it and defend it and defend it, it can't stand on its own. There's no strong foundation. So, you know, use that sort of truth and look into the dark, you know, see how she's got that like dark mask on her face. Use that to look into the dark and realize, ooh. Yeah, this ain't good for me. I'm just clinging on this for some reason. And interestingly, we do have time to reflect. This is asking you to really look at the truth and see how it's like a whole, the whole spectrum, the whole light spectrum. Look at the whole thing, top to bottom, up and down, inspect it and see, really look at it and be like, yeah, this ain't for me. Why do I feel the need to defend this? Why do I feel the need to, you know, I'm seeing with that um, tonic song. If you could only see the way, you know, it's like some dude talking to his friends like, bro, she's not good for you. Like, why are you doing this? She loves me, man. Like when when she looks up at me and gives me those puppy dog eyes, like they're like, bro, she ain't good for you. But yo, she loves me, man. Like, I swear. Like, why are you feeling the need to defend this? I'm not saying it has to be love, but something's being, you're needing to defend something that shouldn't be defended. Um, met the devil in Oklahoma. He shied from the light. Said, I just want to get to know you couldn't see through his disguise, took a step in the wrong direction, and he got it, his hold on me. And he got his hold on me, met the, de met the devil in Oklahoma. It's a tough time getting free. 
I've been sitting on the riverbank praying in Jesus' name to come and save my soul. I know time was never on my side. Um, what I'm getting from that is like, you could ask your spirit team to like really expose this to you. You could ask Most High to expose this to you, what the real truth is. But deep down, <laughs> I think we all know the truth. And funny enough, we got the seven, uh, nine of swords. Oh my God, eight of swords. I, every other, <laughs> we've got the eight of swords here. And in reverse. So you're being asked to free yourself from this. Because that's freeing yourself from fear, um, controlling thought forms, limiting thought forms. Um, you're being asked to free yourself. You know, that's also like getting out of jail. So that might be significant to you, like staying out of trouble. Like maybe this thing, you know, gets you in trouble. <laughs> and maybe, or it's just fear that you need to step away from this thought form. And we have the five of cups in reverse and that's like gonna bring you so much happiness if you have this like underlying like low level depression all the time or like sadness like um like um just kind of feeling down you know and you're like Ugh. it's probably because you're clinging on to this it's probably because you know whatever this fear is keeping you stuck into whatever the hell you're holding on to you got to use your own discernment here. You know, I'll, I'll throw some cards out here to see if it'll help you. But, you know, you got to use your own discernment. I can't pinpoint it for you. But whatever it, you're clinging to, because the five of cups upright is like sadness, grief, just feeling down, loss. That keeps you in that state. And as soon as you release yourself from it, you're going to feel happy, lighter, better. And we have the five of swords. And I, that's telling me to not let this thing like have this grip on you met the devil in oklahoma he got his hooks in me or whatever it says he took a step in the wrong direction and he got his hold on me you're gonna have to use your when at all cost drive this like wanting to you know needing like pushing through no matter what like no matter what comes up in your head or what this person says to you people whatever that tries to keep you stuck in this you're gonna have to win at all costs you're gonna have to you know even let them think you have they have you like let them think like trick them into thinking like oh yeah i'll definitely do that you know whatever like it, even if it's to that extreme to where you have to like basically act as though you're not doing anything and then you have to just like sneak away in the night this is asking you to just whatever it is when it all costs to free yourself from this because <clears throat> the enemy is you know heavily involved especially with you know all of these songs like giving off that fear vibe especially both oklahoma songs talking about the devil being there so you're definitely fighting fear and you have to just win at all costs be like whatever you got to do to just work past that fear um, and we have the king of swords that's asking you to just be like cold calculated straight to the point use that sword to cut off this cord um, and interestingly do we have the gavel involvement with the law so that might mean a divorce for some of y'all or um, if you have like because I got that that um, jail card um, you know the eight of swords or like prison or whatever like it might be like somebody a friend that just takes advantage of you all the time and is like in and out of the loss <laughs> the court system you know non-stop um you know maybe that's putting this boundary up cutting them off so they can't use you anymore um and so that that's just being cold and being like you know what um not getting in your heart and your feelers about it and like no this is bad for me i need to quit defending you and sticking up for you you're bad for me 
this is bad for me, whatever it is, and just being matter of fact about it and like seeing the facts, you know, he collects data. So, you know, looking in the past and being like, when has this not been good for me? A lot. Okay, so I should probably cut this off. You know, the sword, the king of swords cutoff game is very strong. So using that to just cut it off, just got to say goodbye. This isn't, this has not been good for me. I see the data. I see the writing on the wall. I'm not getting caught up in my feelings. I'm just being very matter of fact and I need to quit defending this. We have um, fly, a period of ill health or depression. Um, coins, money will be coming to you. I'm seeing that as like, this person or thing or whatever you're clinging onto is like making you sick. It's making you sad down. You know, that kind of confirms that five of cups in reverse is like, as soon as you let this go, free yourself from it, your life's going to get better because it's just weighing you down and causing so much issues and stress. Um, we said we had involvement with the law, with the gavel, gong, an exciting event. Um, and right next to that is September, so that might be significant, the month. Uh, broom, new home, new attitude. Um, I'm seeing that as like, you know, cleaning, clearing out your space, clearing out your friend group. We have 444 on my clock here. Um, clearing out your friend group, clearing out just the negative people out of your house. Like, just clearing that out. And that's going to bring, you know, that money, that abundance um, we have younger woman dealings or relationships with the younger woman that just might be significant or help you kind of pinpoint what this is June once again that might just be one of the cards that helps you pinpoint this we have whale great worry over nothing this is telling me um, if you could only see the way she loves me maybe you would understand why um great worry over nothing like you're worrying like as soon as you do it you're gonna be like wow that was like easy like this thing I thought had such a grip on me all I had to do was just like build up to it you know it's like fear is um false evidence appearing real you know you're seeing it as like oh this is gonna be so hard this is gonna be this that blah whatever <clears throat> and then as soon as you do it, you're like, damn, that's easy. Like, there was great worry over nothing. I thought there was a whale of a thing that I had to do. And instead, I've just been defending it and wasting my time when um, I could have just done this a long time ago. Bird flying. News is on the way. Um, this is telling me that uh, your spirit team might just be, like, so sick of it that they might just, like, keep adding on more and more like bullshit like uh drama like negative stuff that you're gonna have to be like oh you still want to defend them you still want to defend this you still want to indulge in this because you're still gonna you're gonna get this news um or you know it might be one like i'm i'm not saying like don't wait until it like disappears on you but there's a possibility it might just be like some news of like oh well the thing took care of itself or you know it's just something so awful that like it would be the perfect time to just like cut it off and like there would be no it would just be like oh well that was easy I'm glad that happened <laughs> I keep chasing that same old devil down the same old dead end highway like stop playing into the cycle um and we have dark man dealings with the relationship with a dark man with a man with dark complexion or dark hair that might be significant for you and we have eight of cups at the bottom of this deck it's literally cannot be any more clear this is the walking away card look all those cups are turned over they're beat up they're messed up they're not um there's nothing of value you know i'm seeing that as like they're all cracked and ruined there's nothing of value in them anymore so you're just being asked to walk away um, and we have the two of staff. So if you must, and also the four of swords with that, I'm seeing that if you must pray on it, sleep on it, and then make a plan, um, kind of like with that focus, then act, um, if you need to just pray on it, sleep on it, then 
act upon it. Um, yeah, you. It, depending on where you're at with this, you might need a plan to just like get out of this. But oh, we also have July, so that might be significant. Like this, people like something event happen in July because we have June, July, and there was another one, September. So like that's telling me it's something these events and your need to defend this or whatever keeps happening like um like in a really close like timeline <clears throat> and like all of these messages are timeless so whenever you find it, it's the right time uh i'm just trying to help you out pinpoint this you know if you're having some problems and you know confirmation if you will um wheel <laughs> indecisiveness allowing your life to ramble aimlessly um, quit chasing the same old devil down the same old and dead end highway. Like quit indulging, you know, spinning the wheel, keeping the cycle going when you can just disassemble it and walk away. I'm seeing it as like a tire rolling down a hill, just like it just keeps going. There's no stopping it. Um, scared of nothing and I'm scared to death. I can't breathe and I can't catch my breath. But I keep chasing the same old devil down the same old highway. Ain't no love in Oklahoma, just the whistle of a lone black train. You'll know when it's coming for you, riding in on the wind and rain. Um, I got saved in the same red river, the same red river trying to drown me. It ain't knocking me down. I'm standing my ground with the whole world falling all around me. You're being asked to, you know, stand ten toes down in this. Ooh. Because we have rooster, an arrogant, boastful person, you should not cross. Um, I'm seeing that as like, you should not cross me. You shouldn't cross me. Like, try to get stupid with me. I'm standing my ground. I'm sick of this shit. I'm done. I'm not defending your ass anymore. I'm not defending this thing. I'm not holding on to this thing anymore. And uh, we have the strength card in reverse. The, you know, this is gonna, the enemy is gonna try and prey on your weaknesses. So just, going back into that when it all costs you know grit your teeth in and whatever you got to do to get through this make it happen let them think you know you're not walking away or whatever and then just you know sneaking away in the night whatever it has to be make a plan depending on what level of shenanigans this is um but they're gonna try and pray you know the enemy's gonna try and pray on your weaknesses so you're gonna have to stand strong 10 toes down in this um if you're going to want to walk away, there's a reason why you've been holding on is because of the fear. And this might be just one of those big, you know, fears where I just love that we have the great worry over nothing. So as soon as you step past this and face this fear, you're going to be so happy, so relieved, feel so much lighter, be like, oh, that wasn't as bad as I thought. But you got to build up to that. You got to hype yourself up to um, walk away from this. A change for the better so this is just confirmation like you're by walking away from this and doing the work it's it's the right thing all right babies i hope you have a wonderful day i love you so much keep doing this hard ass work have a great day bye